Christian McCallum, Realtor with the Kempenfeld Group at Remax Crosstown. And I'm Valerie Votor, owner and operator of Function Informed Designs. We are here today because obviously in Barrie, we have a significant shortage of homes, especially affordable homes. And one of the solutions, potential solutions for people is to put a second suite in their homes um, somewhere, whether it's the basement, whether it's the second floor, it's an option that they look at. Um, Val specializes in designing and helping people install second suites. And so Val, we are going to, um, you're gonna help me answer some questions. Mm -hmm. Assuming the person has the home already, they live there, they have a vacant basement, um, unfinished basement, I should say, the thought bubble comes in their head and they want to put in a second suite. What is the next step? Where do they go from there? Uh, well, it depends on, there are a lot of uh, things that depend on uh, how old the home is. So if the home is less than five years, there's a specific set of rules in part nine of the Ontario Building Code that we have to follow. Uh, and if the house is older than five years, there is another set, uh, part 11, uh, which is compliance alternatives, and, which kind of grandfathers a lot of those rules in part nine uh, because the house is older. Um, the next thing they have to think about is the space that's required for a second suite uh, and um, the second egress uh, and how the tenants are going to enter in and out of the home. Will it be shared? Will it be separate? Will there be a subgrade entrance required? Things like that. Um, and uh, just is, is the home in, in fair condition as it stands? Um, maybe they need a home inspection to make sure things are sound before they start construction. And they have to find a great, great designer specializes in that kind of thing, in finding the right layout and the most efficient uh, way to create the space. Okay, so you have said a couple of terms that a novice might understand. Um, so egress, can you define egress for um, the novice? And you also talked about a subgrade entrance. What are those specifically? Uh, egress uh, is a means uh, to get escape in case of fire uh, or other troubles in the home. And uh, for all dwellings, you need two separate egresses, whether that be a door and a window or two doors, uh, you need two for each each separate unit. Um, and what was the other thing? This oh, the subgrade sub entrance. The subgrade entrance um, is basically where you have a basement apartment being built and you need to create an entrance under the ground or beneath uh, the grade uh, and stairs uh, with lighting and concrete uh, in order to enter the new basement apartment. Um, these are uh, structural engineers basically required to um, provide uh, a stamp, a professional stamp, um, to pass the, the um, strength of the concrete and how it's uh, attached to the existing foundation wall. Um, so those are quite deep, quite in depth and uh, quite expensive. So it's really neat if you can find a way to uh, access th that separate dwelling unit without having to build a subgrade entrance, but it's, it's doable. Okay, great, good information. Now, where would a person go first? Obviously, if you're gonna put in a second suite, there are permits to be that, need, that are needed. You need to go to the city and you also need drawings and the advice of a professional such as yourself. So what comes first, the chicken and the egg? Do you go to the city first and tell them what you're planning or would they call you and say, this is what I wanna do, can you help me go to the city? What, what's the order of operations here? Uh, either way is acceptable for sure. Anybody can contact me and I can help them through the process. But if they're inclined to do so, they can contact the planning department of their municipality, whether it be Barrie or Springwater or Bradford. Um, they just contact the municipality planning department and give them their plans and say, you know, I want to build a second suite. Uh, is this allowed in my house? Um, and the planning department will come back with certain setbacks required. And if it's allowed, basically, if the zoning will allow you to put in a second suite, and then I can take it from there. Okay, and you were telling me earlier that Bill C-23, which um, we believe has passed, now means it is absolutely, uh, will be allowed to put a second, possibly even a third suite into a home regardless of zoning, is that correct? So Bill 23 has passed and it base, the, the big line item here is that 
any residential space in any municipality regarding of zoning, as long as it's residential, you can have up to three separate units, whether it be inside the current dwelling unit or two inside the dwelling unit and a garden suite or, or a, another uh, accessory dwelling unit in the backyard. Okay, perfect. And other than calling you my favorite designer, um, <laughs> there is a in, an email, you have told me about this before, you can email um, planner of the day at very.ca if you have specific questions and they're usually pretty good at getting back to you within 48 hours or two business days. That's correct. Val, I want to thank you very much for this introduction to Second Suites and hopefully we can get some people um, going on a project that they've thought about or dreamed about for a while now. I very much appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for watching.